Sick of these niggas, a hey. Sick of these niggas, a hey. Oh man, Drake, here we go again. Another reference track leaked of Drake's? <laughs> man, for all the Drake stands out there, this is another L to the resume. Because the reference track is basically copy and paste. The song Mob Ties reference track was leaked and the original person who did the song was Bori, who used to be signed to Meek Mill. But once the video of him allegedly abusing his girl leaked, Meek dropped him from the label. The track is very, very identical, even down to the damn ad-libs. Like, ooh, bow, skrrr, <laughs> like, god damn, Drake, come on, man. I can't even play the song because I don't know what copyright might be on it, but it's posted in the description. But the whole song and cadence is basically what Drake copied and pasted from Vori. Especially our favorite main parts. Drake just made it pop friendly and changed some of the lyrics like, Sick of these niggas. Sick of these bitches. Go hire a shooter. And get rid of these bitches. Oh man, that whole part and the whole damn song. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm. But this ain't the only time Drake got caught with reference tracks. Just several months ago, a reference track for Drake's Jumbotron leaked. And the original person who did the song for Drake was Lil Yachty. Man, I don't know, yo. I kinda find this as a very low point for an artist of Drake's caliber to be getting writing ideas and flows from Lil Yachty. That's just sad to me on all levels, and that is with all disrespect to Yachty. Which only makes me wonder how many other songs did Yachty do for Drake? Cause once upon a time, Drake and Yachty were always hanging out, but I guess it all makes sense now. Stealing swag from a little boy. Another reference track out there of Drake is Starter From The Bottom Now We're Here. I never really liked that song and still don't, but the boy Drake had got assistance from Quentin Miller for this song. But this ain't the only reference from Quentin Miller. Quentin Miller was once under the OVO team and this was the time he was putting in work to prove his loyalty to Drake. Quentin Miller also referenced the 10 band song and the Rico song with Meek Mill, which is why we're here today addressing Drake like this. I mean, at this point, does it even matter anymore from him? He's already excluded when it comes to the best of the best on a mic. He will always have that asterisk by his name because he don't write his rhymes. But besides that part, yes, he is one of the greatest artists of all time. Just not when it comes to bars, more for making good music. So it is what it is. You see what Kendrick done open up? Kendrick did say he has a mole in the OVO camp. He, he planted the seeds in all these boys' heads. And now you can see things are slowly coming out. I don't know, yo. This is only the beginning, man. He already took that L from this Kendrick battle. And now another reference track? <laughs> yo, this this more. This probably a whole vault of them. I don't know, yo. We're going to find out together. Anyways, this your boy Top with Top This Hip Hop. Check you out on the next one.